Okay. Both Facebook and YouTube, I will be demonstrating liquefying difluoroethane inside of this dust off um, electronic duster. Oh, duster. I'm put it in this container. Here's the dry ice. Dry ice is negative 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Difluoroethane liquefies at negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit. So, I'm going to stick it. Stick it in the dry ice the container. This is a plastic wrap over it to keep the gas in there. And we're gonna stick this thing. And slowly pump some gas in there. Take a while. While we're waiting for that to liquefy, I'm gonna say that there are teams that like to breathe in this stuff to try and get higher or whatever, but it's not a good idea because you breathe in and you cause angina or heart disease apparently and even death. So it's not good to inhale it at all. But here, as it's in the dry ice, because the dry ice is much colder than its boiling point. Once it's liquefied, it's going to cool down so that its vapor pressure is low enough that it will not create any gas, well, create any gas to any high enough concentration. And of course, I'll dispose of it outside so it doesn't fill in the house. So it's best you don't try it at home. Hear it bubbling now. And check that to see how far we are right now. Wow, not a lot. You're not gonna be able to see it on the camera. So I have to go more. Let's try and bury it in the dry ice. It's not a little faster. Stuff is also flammable, so you don't want to put a match in there. And when it burns, it will release hydrogen fluoride gas as well, according to what I've read.
don't know if you can see that. I'll try and Because of the low thermal conductivity of plastic, this is taking a long time. But there's a small amount of liquid there. As you can see, that's the liquid. I also did it in glass, which is much faster, and I got more. Just clear off condensation. I might be able to see. Probably not. Probably can't see that, but yeah, that's liquid dye fluoroethane.